All right, so if your panel box isn't labeled very good and you're all the time having trouble trying to identify which breaker goes to which receptacle or light fixture or whatever, then I'm gonna show you a very simple way to do this without having to take anything apart, get your hands in the electricity, anything like that. It's very safe and it's very easy. All you need is one little simple tool and I'm gonna talk all about that here in this video. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so what I'm talking about here is this Klein Tools ET310 circuit breaker finder. Comes with a transmitter and receiver. These two do separate. This one goes in the house. This one stays out here where your panel box is. Now this works very well whether you've got arc fault GFCI combination breakers or conventional breakers. It does not work on double pole 240 breakers though, so don't expect it to work on that. And if you get the kit that comes with it, it's only $5 more, it'll allow you to find light fixtures that might you might not know which breaker it is, or if you have a box in your attic, a junction box, you don't know what it goes to, this will allow you to wire into that junction box and figure out which breaker that goes to. So if you want to tap into it, you can tap into it and be able to cut the power off without shutting everything down or go through a half an hour ritual of figuring out which breaker it is. Let me show you how this thing works. All right, so super simple to use this thing. Go ahead and plug in your receiver to your receptacle and make sure you've got a good indication right there. And then go ahead and turn this one on press the power button once, you should have a green light, and it should be beeping. So what you'll have to do is scan across your power box one time. This is the learning phase of the break of the uh, machine. Go ahead and scan all your breakers. Don't pay any attention to anything going crazy. Alright, now do it again. This is the testing phase where we're actually looking for the breaker. So everything seems calm on that side. And it seems to like that one. Yep, that's the one. All right, so pretty simple, right? Now, unless you've actually got one that says dual purpose, AFCI, GFCI, this button right here is not going to trip the breaker. Yeah, you could just push this in and then push the button and it would pop the breaker. But I wouldn't do that because most of the time you're not going to have a dual purpose breaker. The one that we were using um, in the demonstration here is not a dual purpose breaker as you can see right here. All right, so let me go ahead and open up the package here and I'll quickly show you how to identify lights. And if you have a junction box, I'm going to use a smoke alarm because it is a junction box and it would be the exact same thing if it was up in the attic. All right, so real quick with the light fixtures, you just need this light fixture adapter right here and then you need this adapter so that it can accommodate the ground and just push it all together like so and go ahead and twist it into your light fixture just where you would a normal light bulb. Make sure to turn the power back on or this test won't work. You're going to have an open ground indication on this don't worry about that, it's still going to work. All right, so we've already gone through the learning phase on this. Just do the same test all over again. Seems to like that one. All right, so one more test. I want to do the little alligator clips on the junction box, and then that'll be it. All right, so very similar. This one comes with two little pigtails, and it doesn't need the ground adapter because it already has a ground. These two just stick together like this. Just push them together. Now we've got two pigtails right here, a black and a red. Now the black is gonna to go to your hot and the red really should have been color coded white because this one is your neutral. This is gonna to go to your neutral. So just, I would tell you to turn the power off, but the whole point is, is we're looking for which breaker it is. So if you're not comfortable working with live electricity cause you're gonna to have to stick these on there with it live, then don't do this, get an electrician and move on. All right, so go ahead and take your alligator clips and clip them on your appropriate wires, black to black, red to white, being careful not to touch anything metal. You're gonna get another open ground indication. Don't worry about that, it's still gonna work. And then we're gonna do the same learning phase and then we're gonna search for which breaker it is. It's the same thing.
All right, and it shows it's this one right here. So if you have any questions, comment below. And if not, I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.